Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to City Skylines. Today we're going to be continuing to bust your myths because you gave me so many myths in the end of the last video. So for this first one, we're in we're in quite a cool map here. The myth is you can use buildings to create a dam. So first off, I think what I want to do, I want to buy a few more tiles. I'm sort of thinking if I just build like a little U-shaped thing like that, I should probably delete all the railways and stuff. So move it mod select all of that and let's boosh it out of existence so we've got a nice plain area here yeah, and if i use this this will spawn us a load of water so if i just shove that like there -ish, you'll see there is water coming now obviously if i don't block this off water will just continue going but i'm gonna hit pause i'm gonna go into unique buildings and we're gonna select this one the high interest tower is basically a ps5 so we're gonna turn the building anarchy on which means our bluebird our little tweeter goes into a it's not a phase heavy metal anarchy bird then we'll try and place building already exists oh no my mods turned off hang on a second let's just save this game build damn basically i gotta quit back to desktop go into my content manager turn on not so unique buildings which means now i can plop <laughs> plop unique buildings as many times as i want to and hopefully the game will still load i know there's been updates and mods don't really work anymore but the power of engineering doesn't wait for updates yes because usually we'd have to place them like that which you can see there's there's a gap between there water will definitely escape however with building anarchy on i'm sort of thinking if i do that sort of thing and then fill in the gaps as well then we literally have a dam made out of office buildings so let's press play and then let's see what happens when this water reaches it now what i'm hoping will happen is the water will go around the side. Actually, can I... Do you think I can landscape that? Let's just see. Can I landscape over the build? No, I can't. Right, anyway, so yeah, there are there are gaps around the edges. So I'm expecting the water to escape around the edges, but I'm hoping it won't go through the buildings. There's only one way to find out, and that is to watch. So the water is hitting the back of the buildings. Is the myth going to be busted, or is it going to be true? Oh, actually, actually, it's completely dry on this side. <laughs> What? Oh, wow, that water's actually... That's quite high now. Wow, look. Okay, so the water's coming around the outside, but it definitely isn't coming through the middle, which I think means this myth is true. You can build a dam out of buildings. What? <laughs> I was not expecting that. That's really cool. Uh, disclaimer, dam may still leak around the edges because we can't quite fill in that gap. But yeah, you can really you can really see the height difference now of the water. So yep, that is myth confirmed. Let's move on to the next one. So for the next myth, we're in our good old friend, the tsunami map. <laughs> I'm sure you're not sick of it by now, right guys? Right? Uh, but the myth on this is that a meteor strike can stop the mega tsunami. So if we come down to here, landscape and disasters, and then we ignore all these tabs and we go to this one at the end, the disasters tab, we have all sorts of things to play with, which I sort of forgot about. Yeah, but this one on the end is a meteor strike. And basically it gives me a little crosshair so that I can aim my meteor. Now, first off, I'm going to do a nice little seaside resort, I think, just so we can measure like where the shoreline is. Because obviously, as we've seen before, as the shoreline changes, like as the water level goes up and down this grass and sand line does actually move so we've got people building their seaside resort now which gives us a nice little base point to see whether we can protect them from the tsunami with meteor strikes so first things first i guess we gotta we just gotta hit it with a few meteor strikes now it doesn't appear to be a cooldown on these so i i I guess I can just spam them like all the way along it. I don't know. I don't know how long they take either. I should probably do them a little bit earlier as well, actually. Oh, man. The tsunami is really moving. Where's the meteors? Oh, there it is. There it is. Nope. Oh, no. We missed. We missed in a big way. All right. There's another one. Oh, we definitely, we definitely missed. <laughs> oh, God. What's happening up there? We've like, we've made like a black hole. <laughs> oh, all the meteors are like missing the tsunami. <laughs> They're all hitting behind it. Oh, no. Right, there's a lot of meteors coming in right now. And we can see they're actually they're making quite a splash impact back here. Uh, they're still coming in now. Like, boosh. The camera's just auto taking me all over the place because I, <laughs> I launched so many meteors. I'm not going to lie, though. I've, I've completely missed all of these. I think what we'll do, we'll predict where it's going to be by the time it gets there. So let's just do a load like about that, that sort of range. All right, there's a meteor coming down. That looks like that's actually a good one. Oh, no, it missed. It missed. Um, I will say, not looking very good for my city there. <laughs> The big swept away and the, the tsunami's not even here yet. Right, well, where's the next wave of meteors? Right, there comes one. There comes two. Right, there you go. Right in front of it. That's actually perfect in terms of trying to disrupt. The camera keeps moving me. There. Look at that. 
Look at that. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, we can actually see that's done something. Not not a lot though. Um, yeah, not not really not really doing a lot, those meteors. Even perfectly timed ones. Alright, let's go again. We're gonna have to get pretty close to the city here. Uh, so come on, meteors. Where are you? Oh, come on, meteors. It's getting pretty close now. I don't like this. I don't like this. Well, the meteors were late. So I think that means that is that is completely busted. Because can a meteor stop the mega tsunami? No chance. Myth busted. Anyway, for this next myth, we're, we're trying to find a map that doesn't actually have water. Does such a thing exist? Ooh, how about the desert oasis? That sounds like the right sort of place. Right, so we're in the desert oasis. The first thing I want to do is click this button down here, water. Now, this lets me delete all the water sources on the map. So delete that one, delete that one. And basically, with them all deleted, we now have a finite amount of water here. So, oh, wow, what was that? It's a buffalo. Careful, buffalo, mate. There might be a croc in there. Yeah, good choice. Good choice. But yeah, this myth is do fire helicopters use up water? So I'm going to assume in order to get fire helicopter people to actually man them, am I going to need like people to live? Like, do I need a population or are they like, are they like autonomous? Are they drones? Don't know. But first off, let's just link that. I know, I know that's hideous. That <laughs> imagine driving down this motorway and then just... Urgh! Anyway, I'm going to shove some roads in, and then I'm going to shove down in the emergency services tab. We have these, the fire helicopter depot. Now, it looks like these need water and electricity to work, but it doesn't really say anything about needing, like, people to man them. So I guess first things first, we're just going to, we're going to shove a load of these down. And then I assume because there's, yeah, because there's multiple problems, we probably can't spawn the helicopters until we give them electricity and water. Water. So we can give them water with a water tower. And then if we put some wind turbines down, that should power everything. Although they are complaining about poo. Is that a problem? Say what, let's use the, the sinkhole natural disaster. We'll bung it over there. So as you can see here, there is a sinkhole forming. Uh, so hopefully we can just use that as like a sewage pit for now. And then hopefully sewage should come out of here or maybe just water. No, that looks like sewage to me. But that's going down the sinkhole, which uh, it is filling up a little bit. Oh, that's filling up quite fast, actually. Anyway, now all of these are fine. So I guess first things first, assuming this is the water source the helicopters will use, this is what we need to measure. So we need to make sure that this level doesn't go down at all. So we'll put trees right around the edge. So we'll just go as close to the water line as we can. Thankfully, these do disappear when they go in water. But anyway, lots and lots of palm trees later, and we have an exact water level so that we should be able to see if the if the fire helicopters use that up and um, the next thing we need is obviously a fire now i feel like most sensible thing to do is probably completely cover this area in trees so if we grab a giant redwood up the brush size Oh, there we go. <laughs> that That's a lot of trees. And then we can use the forest fire natural disaster. So I'm going to shove this probably over in this corner to start. All right, so we have we have a fire. In order for them to spot this, actually, I just remembered. We need some, we need some watchtowers. So we'll shove that sort of in the middle there. Another one over there. All right, and then if we head back over here. Yes, look, they're going. The helicopters are taking off. So what I'm hoping they do is... Hang on, where are they going? Where are they going? Oh, you're not. You're not. You're actually not. Guys, you, you weren't meant to take that water. That's not water. Oh, God, that's disgusting. That is disgusting. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, scrap the name of this myth. This myth is actually, can you use sewage to put out fires? <laughs> anyway, back over to here. I can literally feel the heat. It is blaring. Uh, don't worry, the cavalry is here, though, with... With their poo water ready to drop on the forest fires. So there it there it goes. That's gonna smell amazing. <laughs> right, oh and to be fair to them, they're actually they're putting a bit of a dent in the fire. Yeah, this is like this is an ingenious idea. Why don't why don't I just do this normally? Rather than like building pucanos and stuff, I should just be putting out forest fires. I mean I can only assume this is like fertilizing the land as well. I'm sure there's some like bears or squirrels down here that probably massively disagree, like covered in actual poo. And but yeah, helicopters, they sure do want to use the old sewage. Fair enough. <laughs> Why was their first thing to go for there? That's literally further away than this is as well. All right, well, since this works, I am I'm going to build a few more helicopters, I think. Where are the helicopters from these new ones? Actually, all of these, they only have two out of three in use. Is that because they don't think the fire's big enough? I mean, I'm not going to lie. I don't think 
you guys have it under control. You could definitely use another helicopter or two. Anyway, I feel like I wanna I wanna delete this eco water outlet thing. So boosh, yes, you're deleted. I then need to try and cover up this sewage water because we we've proven that sewage can put out that. But that's not the that's not the myth. That's not the one I was meant to be testing. Right, so there's no more sewage there. Helicopter, there's no more. No, look, I I filled it up. Oh no, it's just come to the surface. They're still oh they're still using it. <laughs> Aha, right. Now they're actually using the correct water source. And um, although they're all they're all landing now, why are you all landing? Hopefully it's not because there is a sewage problem here. Um, I think it's just because we've put the fire out. Okay, so let's start another forest fire. Yeah, but this time bigger. So we're gonna have one there, we're gonna have another one in the middle, and one down that end as well. So hopefully, yes, look, yes, they're all taking the water out of here. So this is, I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna leave the camera looking at this. 12 seconds later. Yeah, I left it going for a few seconds and everyone, everyone buggered off. Is that because I think it's because sewage is backing up? Oh, God damn. Right, is there a way to deal with sewage without? Oh, yes, this one, this one. So I think this one I can drain sewage without actually outputting it anywhere. So that's all connected now. So hopefully those symbols should go. And yep, there go the helicopters. Nice. Right. So now back over. Oh, my goodness. Look how many helicopters there are. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> So yeah, we're, we're just going to let this run and we're going to see will this lake drop in terms of the water level. And I mean, it sort of seems like they did, although I think the fire's gone out. Can I just replant all these trees? I may have to delete them all first. So delete the trees, plant the trees. Oh no, it, plant, it planted them dead. How did the game remember? I right, tell you what, let's buy some more land. We'll purchase that. We'll cover them all in trees. Plop some watchtowers about. Start a few forest fires. Right, well, I don't think it took long to confirm that helicopters do actually use water up. What a crazy detail that the dev added. Like, there's no need to add that, really. Especially because most, like, lakes and stuff in the game, they have, like, a water spawner anyway, so they can't actually reduce level like this. And if you're wondering, like, Matt, well, sh what, if, what if it was just evaporation? Maybe it wasn't the helicopters. Well, that's why I removed them from all the other water sources on the map. So, before we confirm this completely, let's go find another one. Hang on, hang on. No, this one's definitely gone down. Could the helicopters have snuck over here? Oh, yes, look! You cheeky... Robin bastard. He robbed water from the map. Right, where else can we go? Right, how about way up in the hills? Let's have a look at this one. Okay, so that has that much water. Okay, okay, okay. What we're going to do, we're going to reload this map but like, and we're going to see where the rocks are. Um, oh no, they're sneaking over here anyway. You knobheads. <laughs> No, but yeah, our original lake is completely dry now. It's just question is, was that evaporation or was it helicopters? Let's reload the map. So we're back on the map. Oh man, that was our original water source. It was huge. I feel like my tree one wasn't even that big. Does that prove straight away that there's evaporation? Well, this is the one with the rocks and Matt, you can't you can't even see the rocks. Like I think there's one. I'll tell you what, I'm going to try and put my mouse sort of where like the pointer of it is right on the water line, like the highest point of it. Yeah, then we'll leave it for 10 minutes so and I'll be back and we'll see if that water level has moved. All right, well, I've left that for a good 10, 15 minutes. And if you look at my mouse, nothing has changed. Uh, so I think it's pretty confirmed that evaporation isn't a thing. I mean, I even saw like there's like a cheeky like little buffalo thing that came along. He was having a little, a little slurp of the old water. That's not a buffalo. That's a car. Cars don't drink water. But yeah, so evaporation is ruled out, which means the myth of do fire helicopters use up water? It's confirmed. So for this next myth, we are back in the lovely Engertopia. Oh man, I have i didn't realize how big this pokeball thing was that I made. Like when we zoom out, it's literally like... <laughs> It's like the size of like the rest of Engertopia if I combined it all. But anyway, what, what is the myth that is in Engertopia? Well, the myth is I, real civil engineer, cannot make a city that isn't all knobs. Yeah, well, I'll have you know, there's plenty of things that aren't knobs. Like this is just a natural rock formation. This is just an efficiently laid out industrial zone. Efficient residential areas. And another one with a stinky tip. Efficient highway junctions, which I don't know why there's traffic on. They, that should actually be really efficient. This one. One, which I haven't got around to finishing yet because the shop I mean the roads are taking ages <laughs> they're a bit spaghetti -y. okay you know what I'm starting I'm starting to see you guys points maybe maybe this is busted what about Angelantis oh no no okay so can I make a city that isn't just knobs uh no no I can't myth busted but there is another myth to bust in Engertopia and it revolves around this the Pukano now if you have been watching my Engertopia series you'll know that everyone down there they all poo they can't help it that's just the way things are and when they do poo the poo comes out of these little sewage outlets here into this 
Phuket, you know, uh, that's the island where the architects live. Um, and then we've got some hydroelectric dams and some cleaners in here. So that all gets cleaned as it comes down and provides energy. And then the water inlets suck it back up again. So we've basically made infinite power here. A feat of engineering. However... However, we've got a myth that says turning the Pukeno into a Poonami will destroy Engitopia. So I guess there's only one thing to do. Hit pause. We'll delete everything over there. Delete everything up there. Delete. Oh, and then we're going to do something sacrilege. Absolutely sacrilege. We're going to go into the landscaping tool. We're going to select the level terrain tool. And then we're literally going to cut away at this wall. Oh, <laughs> Oh, this is not good. This is really, really not good. Um, as you can see, the walls have now gone. <laughs> oh, no. I, I, I'm so sorry, guys. Anyone that's living down here. My kid's about to go on the merry-go-round. Um, don't look up, because that is a lot of poo. <laughs> about to be coming down your way oh man i just walking along the streets if you look up that, that is so big i never actually realized how much poo there was in there you guys sure poo a lot right anyway let's get a good angle on this because we're only gonna do it once um okay let's press play and let's see if the pukeno will destroy <laughs> engitopia you can see the top level is dropping uh, oh and actually where where's the water going oh look they might be safe they might actually be safe. Oh, no. Now it, now it's coming out. Now it's coming out. The poo is coming out the hole. Oh, dear. That's quite a lot of poo water. I'm not sure it's going to create enough power to actually destroy buildings. Although that church probably disagrees with me. It's completely buried. Kids? Kids? <laughs> oh, God. Look at all the people. Oh, look at... Oh, oh, no. I think buildings are getting destroyed. They're not being destroyed. They're literally just evaporating. Whoa. That is how much... Who there is. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, some positive news, though. I feel like this is at least, like, half empty now. Or at least a third empty. So I'm not sure if the entire area of engitopia will be destroyed so that is as a hell of a lot of poo water coming this way look at all the debris i mean they're not it's not debris it's literally thousands of people <laughs> being flung into the air and all their cars and stuff oh the buildings are just being deleted. Like, they're just evaporating. Hey, at least it's cleaning up all this traffic. <laughs> I told you it was an efficient design. That's done a lot more destruction than I was expecting. I'll tell you what, let's, let's speed this up a bit. And let's watch this in a bit of a time lapse, just so you can see exactly what happens. I mean, in real time, it's pretty stuttery. I... I <laughs> I feel like each wave of evaporation is uh, is destroying my CPU. And the wake behind the Poonami is just it's just completely barren land. Like, we've destroyed everything. Um, and weirdly, if we zoom in, people... <laughs> they've literally just been hit by a Poonami. And then they're building their buildings already. You can see they're going up. Despite poo water still flowing through the city. <laughs> Um, I think that's because I got the infinite demand mod on. Let's disable that quickly. All right, so the turtle wave has made it to the bridges. I'm really, really hoping the power of engineering will ensure all of these bridges survive. They're sort of like my, like, they're my, they're my little babies, my bridges. I might have hundreds of them, but I savor and love every single one of them. And then we have the industrial zone, which actually it's not being destroyed by the poo water. I think the poo water has displaced the river water. <laughs> So the river's popped out and is destroying all this industrial area. And meanwhile, the river has been replaced with poo. Interesting. Very interesting. I feel like it makes this area a lot clearer what it was. <laughs> oh, the, va the veiny roads. Disgusting, that. Disgusting. So the myth saying the Pukeno will completely destroy Engitopia is confirmed. Um, and that was really, really painful to do, actually. I hope I didn't save this. I tell you what, I'm going to alt F4 out the game just to make sure. Right, and that's enough myths for us today. If you've got any more, leave them in the comments below. I'll be sure to check them out in a future video. But for now, I'll say peace, love, and poo water. Bye!